Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be going over three of my favorite dividend growth companies, some of them which I own, some of which I don't own. But these are three dividend growth companies that I think you guys are going to absolutely love and in my opinion are absolutely great companies. Starting off, we have one that I've actually been looking into buying but haven't pulled the trigger on yet, and that is LOW, ticker LOW, which is Lowe's at $195 a share right now. I recently made a video on this company we're just trading at 199 it's actually dipped a little bit more if we look at their free cash flow yield it's 5.8 percent which is two percent higher than the s p 500 a current dividend yield of 2.1 percent profit margins of 6.5 percent which is very very high for retail pe of 19 and a four pe of 14 if we look at their stock price over the last year it's down two percent over the last one year up four percent over the last five years up 87 percent but if we look at that revenue growth, it has annual revenue growth of about 7% per year, which is not bad revenue growth. EBITDA growth of 9% per year. And my favorite metric, free cash flow growth of 10% per year. So they're matching uh, the index fund in terms of how fast they're growing the money that they're taking in. So if you look at their stock-based comp, it's not significant. And if you adjust for everything, you actually get 17% growth. So in total... You're getting 17% uh, in terms of growth via buybacks, in terms of growth via stock-based comp, in terms of growth via free cash flow, you're getting 17% a year, and you're getting a dividend that is growing at 20% a year and is a yield of 2.2%. So basically, you're getting a company that's providing you 20% returns per year, according to this uh, graph, and has return on capital employed of over 40% right now. If we look at their cash and debt position, that debt is growing, but... There is a reason for that, right? More stores buying up more stores. They're going to need capital for that. And to do that, they are raising more capital. So that's the first company, uh, Lowe's. I'm really interested in it. Probably going to pull the trigger on it soon. But that gives us, give me right, gets me right into our next company that's been trading on a major dip that I really like is Texas Roadhouse. This is another dividend company I absolutely love with a dividend yield of 2.2% as well. Profit margins of 6.7% in your lows. Free cash flow yield of about 3.4% and a forward PE of 20. This company has stronger revenue growth than lows with revenue growth rates of 12%, an EBITDA growth rate of 11%. And if we look at the price over the last year, it is down 0.4%. Year to date, down 1%. In the past six months, down 13%. Past three months, down 20%. If we look at their free cash flow, we see a similar story, 16% growth rates. Stock-based comp is somewhat significant, but it's not too significant. And if we adjust per share, we get 16% free cash flow growth rates. EPS growth rates of about 15% dipped during COVID, obviously. And uh, all their debt is pretty much capital lease, so I'm not too worried about it. If you don't know what capital lease is, that's basically um, when the company rents out uh, properties to use. So Texas Roadhouse rents out the restaurants. Dividend yield of 2.2%, but increasing at a rate of about 16% a year. And buying back shares at a rate of about 0.5% per year with good return on capital employed above the S&P 500. Those are the first two companies that I really, 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 really like. The next and last company that I really do like uh, right now at current valuations is V, ticker symbol V, which is Visa. Has a forward PE of 25, which I believe is very fair for this company. A free cash flow yield of 4.8%, a dividend yield of 0.76%. And if we look here, revenue growth of 10%, which is actually great revenue growth. EBITDA growth of 10% as well. And free cash flow growth of 22%. And if we adjust per share, we have actually 24% free cash flow growth. EPS growth rates of 14%. Cash and debt is fine. They have about as much cash as they do debt and dividend yields of 19% dividend growth rates with buying back shares at a rate of 2% per year and return on capital employed above the S&P 500 average. I kind of speed run those three companies, but those are three of my favorite companies right now in terms of dividend growth and companies that I am looking to buy. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.